18 point five done. Hashtag why I'm in the open so I can be done with that shit. <laughs> uh, all right, 18.5, seven minute AMRAP. Increasing ladder, three thrusters, three chest of bar pull up, six, six, nine, nine, 12, 12, until you get to seven minutes. Uh, Max and I both got to the round of 18 thrusters. Uh, we got 12, 14, respectively. Um, I'll go through this with judging and the tips. So I'll just go through movement by movement. Judging the thrusters just like any squat, the hip crease drops below parallel. So the hip crease goes below the top of the knee. All right, and then coming up, do the full lockdown position overhead. All right, so a couple things we're looking at, elbows straight, shoulders overhead, hips open, knees open, and the bar should be over the center of the body. If he's in front, that would be a no rep. All right, now the other part of this is that it must finish with a push press like this. So you do a nice full squat. Once the knees go straight, they stay straight. If you jerk it, or if you have soft knees, man, it's hard to do. Do it for you. <laughs> I, I don't do this. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, if you jerk it, that's a no rep. It can be even a lot it's softer if you can rest. If those knees, as you're coming up, if they go soft, that's a no rep. All right, the knees have to be straight. Obviously, you can't press it out. You'll be cold on that. Um, if you want to squat clean the first rep, that is okay. All right. I don't necessarily recommend it, more on that in a second. And lastly, we will be no repping drop bars. I cannot handle standing here all night watching everyone destroy our 10, 15, and 25 pound plates. So if you drop it, no rep. If you would like to see what that looks like, Max and I both did the workout without dropping it. It's live in FitLab. Max loved that. Um, okay, on to the tips. You can squat, the, uh, squat clean. I don't recommend it. Uh, if you've got a good clean squat clean and you can maintain it under heavy fatigue, sure, go for it. You might save a half a second. But what I usually see more than that is people will get a shitty landing position. They need to reset. They have a horrible first rep and they're still going to reset on the second one. So they lose time and they lose, they waste energy on it. Uh, I did it the first rep and that was it. I don't know if Max did it all. Uh, I, Thruster stuff we went over earlier this week. Make sure the hips drive that bar off the shoulder. Don't press early. And then find that timing on the way down. So bar, shoulder, squat. Not bar, squat, shoulder. Uh, Pull-ups. You gotta have full extension at the bottom of the rep. If you are doing chest bars, the feet need to be off the ground. Right? If you are doing uh, jumping, you need to be at full extension of the elbows. Okay. Uh, for chest to bar, the chest must touch the bar below the collarbone. If it touches, it's a good rep. If it doesn't touch, it's not a good rep. For the jumping pull-ups, the chin has to pass over the plane of the bar. You do not have to physically put the chin over the bar. So if my head comes up, if this is the bar, right, and this is my chin, if it comes here, it's okay, that's a good rep. If it comes here, that's a good rep. But you don't have to physically put it over. Um, I think that was it there. Cool. Uh, Pull-ups, you want to avoid failure. All right? um, if you're getting down to like one, two reps at a time, that's fine. Try to get zero, no reps. They're hugely costly, especially when it's only a seven minute long workout. Um, and you got to rest as you need it. So as you get further on the workout, you're going to need to break it up into more rest. Um, if it's getting tough, and you try to just get one again, you can go uh, chin up grip, you can go switch grip, whatever's going to get you there and get good reps, you can do. Uh, that's true for both jumping and chest to bar. Um, and yeah, same the jumping, uh, you'll save time if you don't try to put your chin over. If you just go up and down, you'll save a little bit of time. All right, general, um, in terms of judging, there's no tie breaks, so you just have to track good reps, and the score is just the number of reps. Right? Make sure you fill out the card completely, your name their name, uh, the gym, uh, have you passed the judges course, what date is it, uh, how many reps, RX or scale, top and bottom, don't make us guess, don't make them guess, it's happened every time we get about 10 to 15 cards, we have to go chase people down or people are calling me on Friday night, Saturday, Sunday night, Monday night, 
I would prefer not to have that. Um, general, uh, avoid the no reps, like the plague. Um, it's fast for me, I think Max and Norman did it too. The first minute or two feels like the longest. I thought at about 90 seconds to two minutes in, I thought I was about halfway. It's not because you can move so fast from one to the other. Um, as those sets get bigger, you need to take more breaks in between. Uh, so like the last two minutes sucked, but it went really fast. Um, it's gonna be different for everyone. You're gonna have to pace to your abilities. Jumping pull-ups are pretty easy for most, not all, but pretty easy for most. Uh, so if you're doing scaled, it's probably the thrusters that are gonna be harder. Depends on the person though. Um, you know, Mac, Max and I knew going into it, I got better thrusters, he's got better pull-ups. We were gonna be even. Uh, we both treated different. He tried to hit it and maintain throughout, and I kind of tried to save myself for a big set at the end. I would say it worked well for both of us, that was just our game plan. Um, you know, I would do as much unbroken thrusters as possible as reasonable. The more you put that down and bring it up, it's a fuck ton of work just to go down and up. Uh, not to say you should get failed reps or go to your true limit, but I would try to stay unbroken as long as you can. Cool. Yeah, just on the judging, on the thrusters, that you say rep here, not at the bottom. Just make sure you look at them, both parts of the movement. And if you're doing scaled, you can kind of save some energy by pulling more in the in the jumping pull-ups or jumping more, depending on which is more tiring for you. Both. Um, so you can kind of change about, but really, I think if you're scaled, this is a quick one. Move, move, move. Yeah, that said, um, thrusters, it uses as much leg drive as possible. You gotta save those shoulders for the pull-ups. And when you're on the pull-ups, get as much kip as possible because your shoulders are working so hard this whole 